Hi, this is Peter McGough here with Muscular Development. Uh, it's uh, Wednesday evening before the Olympia. I'm here with Dallas McCarver. This is his first time in the Olympia. How's it all going for you at the moment, Dallas? It's going great. It's honestly, uh, it's been, I couldn't have asked for a better trip in. Yeah. Um, everything's ran pretty seamless. Training's been uh, on time. Meals have been on time. Uh, I'm pleased with the way things are progressing, you know, yeah. coming into tomorrow. And uh, it's, it's great. It's just a dream come true, and I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> so all these videos you've done for us on MD, I mean, a lot of guys sort of seal themselves away. You still put the work in. You look terrific. You've made gains. So just tell me about your personality that allows you to do that rather than being very insulated. Well, um, if I was in some of these other guys' position, um, maybe I wouldn't. But in, in my position for this current show, you know, at this, at this Olympia, I look at it as I have nothing to lose. You know, um, I have no, no, there's no need in me hiding or me, uh, you know, sticking away or doing whatever. Because uh, at the end of the day, if I come up here and, uh, you know, if I finish respectable or if I get dead last, I'm probably still going to be the happiest guy in that building come Saturday night. So, um, you know, it's just, that's just me. It's, it's, uh, it's a no lose situation for me and um you know just being here at this my age and this point in my career is a blessing mm -hmm. and uh so you know i figure if it, if i look at it that way and uh you know why not take and make the most out of the opportunity and get as much footage out to the fans as we can because i mean there's people out there that actually do enjoy and want to see you know so uh just capitalize from all angles you know so so you never thought about bypassing the olympia like a lot of guys do the first time they qualify young guy I thought about it, but after a few phone calls uh, to a few select people, I decided, uh, no, <laughs> well, we'll do it. <laughs> but uh, it's just, you know, like I said, why not? You know, it's a, it's a no-lose situation in, in my eyes. Um, yeah, you know, I sacrificed a few weeks of time that I could have been getting larger for next season or whatever, but at the end of the day, um, you know, hopefully this isn't a once-in-a-lifetime uh, opportunity, but you never know it could be. You never you never know what tomorrow holds, you know, so. I don't think it will be. No. Now, there you are. I mean, in your amateur career, you were unbeaten. Your first pro show in California, California Pro in May, you won that. Have you been able to make improvements since then? And if, if so, what are they? Yeah, I would honestly say I've made a significant improvement since the California show. Just from the simple fact of it had been a while since my body had done a show, you know, with a long distance between turning pro and the California show. So in order in that aspect, um, I was able to get a great rebound um, while still eating, you know, large amounts of calories from clean food. And, and but being able to train twice a day through the amount of calories I was getting in um, and still staying relatively tight, I feel like I made a lot of improvements to some weak areas you know being my legs I'm, I'm very proud of the way my quads are looking um, you know are they where I would like them to be no but are, have they come up significantly I do believe so um, you know and a few other you know my back um, still got some work to do back there and, and all over but overall thickness um, I'm just I'm just very pleased with the progress we've made between the shows given the short amount of time so you're really f f looking forward to the prejudging. Um, what would equate success for you, placing-wise? Just making it to the stage. <laughs> no, honestly, um, you know, I, I don't know what to expect. Um, you know, I've, I've thought about, you know, man, how crazy would it be to crack the top ten? But then when you sit and look at the lineup, I mean, it's... Uh, mm. You know, there's a lot. Of, there's there's probably ten guys there, <laughs> there that uh, deserve it just as much, if not more, than I do. So at the end of the day, we'll just have to see where it falls. But uh, realistically, I really have no expectations. Like I said, it's just a true blessing to be here on its own. What sort of body weight will you be? Um, as of right before I came up here, I was sitting right around 275. Um, you know, probably drop a few pounds of water, but. Uh, somewhere, hopefully, you know, between around the 270 range. So, yeah. well, here you are, 24, in the Olympia, living the dream. You're a great big guy. You've got the, the Hollywood looks. Um, <laughs> everything's going for you. So, thank you very much for your time. Yes, we sir. wish you all the best, and we'll talk to you after the event. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, MD.